Hello, it's Angus here at the Bureau with the weekend forecast, which we're filming on Thursday because it is a long weekend here in Victoria and a long weekend goes into Monday for many other states as well. So we'll touch on the Monday forecast too. But broadly speaking, across the four days, it's clear and warm weather for the majority of Australia. Let's get into it with a look at the pressure pattern and look at what's going on. So first thing here, Friday morning, there's a front crossing at Tasmania, wet and windy start to Friday for you. There is a damaging wind warning in place across the southeast and Hobart may see gusts of 100 kilometres an hour. Elsewhere, not a lot in terms of rainfall, a few showers along the Queensland coast, mostly north of Brisbane, but dry and sunny for the rest through Friday, getting increasingly warm as well. Saturday morning, we start to see the next signs of a little bit of rainfall on the map in the southwest, with a few showers down this way, mostly south of Perth, but we might get one or two showers there in the afternoon. This front comes to a stop here on Friday, uh, Saturday night, excuse me, just in time to move through Hobart once again on Sunday. Sunday morning, so another burst of wind and rain there. Also a couple of showers and some cooler winds through South Australia and Victoria. Then it's all eyes to the southwest once again for Monday as the next more significant weather system makes its way onto the map. This cold front here brings more widespread showers than the previous one, much stronger winds as well and noticeably chillier temperatures. So we're expecting more of a wintry outbreak into the far southwest of the country for Monday. But away from that, it is going to be generally fine and sunny for pretty much everyone else. Lots of clear weather, lots of sunshine and lots of warm conditions. So without a lot of rainfall on the map for this weekend, the main story really becomes about temperature. So let's dive in and take a look at the temperature. Really, really warm, significantly above average in places. This is Friday with the peak heat being around Western Australia and through this belt here, we'll likely see a number of upper 30s, if not low 40s. Then on Saturday, the warmest area becomes the center of the continent with parts of South Australia forecast to get into the 40s as well. While it's not 40, do note this 29 degree temperature here in Melbourne, that is grand final day. So it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable out there for the players. It's a warm 29 degree day there and pleasant temperatures along the eastern coastline. Then for Sunday we see the axis of the peak heating start to affect New South Wales. In particular coastal parts of New South Wales get a really warm day on Sunday and it's NRL grand final time there. It's the ladies in the afternoon and the men in the evening so very warm conditions for both of those games. Just a note as we do head into Sunday could be worth remembering turn the clocks forward it's daylight saving this weekend. Finally a quick overview for Monday, this is a public holiday for many of our states and through the centre here it's a really warm bubble of air once again with the widespread temperatures expected to reach 40 degrees. I'm not going to spend too long on fire danger but the one day I wanted to highlight was Sunday because it's very warm across New South Wales. We're also expecting a stiff dry northwesterly wind and that is going to lead to a sharp increase in the fire risk with broad extreme areas through eastern parts of New South Wales for Sunday including the Sydney metro area so caution is required around all things fire on Sundays for New South Wales and indeed large parts of the rest of the country. So it's all about heat and it's all about fire weather through the course of the long weekend. Do stay up to date with the latest for your region, bomb.gov.au, the bomb weather app and of course we're always posting on social media as well.